Good morning, good morning, Rock Church. Friends and family, this is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson once again. My God, my God. Welcome to Pastor Rob 365 Days Refresh Daily Word Inspired by the Rammer Word of God. In other words, a Rammer is an inspired word birthed within your spirit. It's a whisper from the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? has to say what has the Holy Spirit said to me you know I believe that this is the day that the Lord has made we ought to rejoice and be glad in it the Holy Spirit is always speaking y'all and therefore we should be rejoicing today is actually sanctified Sunday yes sir sanctified Sunday I told you every day of the week there's a special word that I'm gonna give you sanctified Sunday now, what, that, what does that mean? What does that mean, okay? I'm going to tell you as soon as I pray. Father, we come before you this morning to go before you, to ask you to speak that realm of word to all of us, God. This word that you have given me. God, I pray that our hearts be receptive. God, that we will go forth this day. Because this is the day you have made. Not tomorrow, but this day. All that you have for this day. May you be glorified. Now listen, amen. And so as we think about the word, the spiritual word, sanctified, the meaning says sanctification or its verb form, sanctify. Literally means to be set apart for special use or purpose. That is to make holy or sacred. Okay, okay. To be holy or sacred is to be sanctified. But we can't forget this. We are, we are called to be set apart for a special use. Now, this special use has everything to do with kingdom work. I'm not talking about not working for the kingdom. I'm talking about working for the kingdom as those who've been saved by faith through grace. My brothers and sisters, listen. We are Christians. We are called to go forth. It doesn't matter how you may feel. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Sometimes I don't feel like this, that, and another. Like this morning, believe it or not, I've been out already shoving the snow. <laughs> Man, listen, have y'all seen the snow outside of Chicago yet? Look, I've been out there shoveling early this morning. Both my yard, my sidewalks, and my neighbors. Here's the reason why. Because, hey, when I'm not there outside, when I'm not outside shoveling, they outside shoveling. They shovel my snow. Even in the summertime, we cut each other grass. So whoever get out there first, you got to get out there and shovel. I was set apart to be a neighbor to my neighbors. Come on, somebody. So that means if I'm going to do something to my outside, I must do it to theirs. Now, I didn't feel like shoveling their snow this morning because it's heavy. But there's some snow out there. But you're set apart. Now, just imagine, man. How much more that God has given you and I to be set apart for the kingdom's work? Yeah, yeah, to be set apart for the kingdom's work. Now, this realm of word, sanctified son, is something that we're going to think about all day today to be set apart. Say, God, I know you set apart me to do what I was called to do today. And I was called to do the work of the kingdom of God. Throughout your whole day, you want to think about that. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you one challenge how to do that. Okay? Now, now. The inspired realm of word is from actually the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. This is our verse for the day. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. It is a prayer of praise from Apostle Paul that he was talking to the church in Ephesus. And he was telling the believer, he was praying. And after he prayed, come on somebody, this is what he said. He says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. According to his power that is at work within us. Paul is giving this praise from that prayer. He said God is able to do something. But see he's able to do it because there was a prayer that went forth. If you look back in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 14. 
in that prayer was, he says, I pray out of his glorious riches that he may strengthen you with his power through his spirit in his inner being, in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together, all the Lord's people, to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep the love of Christ is, and to know his, know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Hey, this is a prayer for those who's ready to be and do what God has called them to be as kingdom workers. Come on, somebody living for the kingdom. Man, look, look. You know what I found out? Christ means for accomplishing more than we can actually imagine, more that you can visualize. What is it? What can you visualize being for the kingdom today, for God's kingdom today? What, what can your mind, eye see today doing for the kingdom today? Today, this is a new year. This is about kingdom work. This is the year of the increase. So how can I be what God called me to be today to represent the kingdom of God? Hey, 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 man, listen. All this going to come through God's strength in you. Not, not your own strength. It's going to be God's strength through you. And guess what? I found out that his work is done by the Holy Spirit's power within us, according to the scriptures. Rather than by our own human standard. In other words, our own human strength. In other words, listen, I can't do this without God's strength. Come on, somebody. Look, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you. Because this is uh, what God has put in my heart to do this every single day for a whole year. I need his power. I need his strength. I need his wisdom. But I have to have this love for the kingdom to serve the kingdom. You're part of the kingdom. I'm part of the kingdom. How do we do what God called us to do? Brothers and sisters, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to consider this question. Are you willing to release your faith for the kingdom of God to begin that you will start asking or imagine the power of the Holy Spirit to do something, to do this, to work through you today? Holy Spirit, this is, listen, listen, I want you to work through me today. Now, how do you do that? You remember, this is all about kissing you now. Kiss me, keeping it simple saints. You don't have to do anything else but keep it simple saints. How do we do that? How do, how do we prepare ourselves for the kingdom to do the work today? Simple. Ask this question. Say this. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Order my steps and my stops today. I want to be and do what the king of the kingdom want me to be and do. Simple as that. Just say, come on in, Holy Spirit. Order my steps and my stops. I want to be kingdom-minded. I want to serve the king and his kingdom. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, you do all of that out of love. In spite of the trials that's going to come your way. Heavenly Father, we come before you. Thank you for this word this morning. We thank you, God, that this is Sanctified Sunday. We were set apart for your purpose. You, not, you gave us life today to honor you. You gave us life today that we may be the beacon of light to the world, to our families. This day, I pray that every choice and every decision and every action we make we think about is for the kingdom as we serve the king. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Come on now. Ah, keep it simple, saints. I'll see you tomorrow if it's the Lord's will. Have a great day in Jesus. You sanctified Christian you are. Amen.